what Thursday, Thursday morning, bad me haircut. Anyway, I've come to move some straw over for the horses and look at this. Couple of barn owl pellets on the top of this bale. It's been underneath that beam, so the barn owl's obviously roosting on there, dropping pellets onto the bale. So it looks like dog muck, but it's not, it's, uh, it's owl pellets. Remember in school, we took them apart to see what they've been eating, but yeah, I don't really fancy it anymore, so. <laughs> I'll flick them on the floor. When you have cows, one of the biggest costs of sort of beef cows is, is hay and straw. But at least what hay they eat, it turns into like a juicy steak. Whereas horses, they just kind of eat loads of hay. They just exist. Crackers, isn't it? Well, I suppose to be fair, you can you can eat them like Tesco were doing the other year. But that's ten years ago now, isn't it? That horse meat scandal. I have to Google it. Twenty thirteen, so actually eleven years ago now. Right, Rob's got his drone out. Let's see what goes wrong now. We've got the spreader bale on as well, so we got some of these bales. These were baled two years ago, and we'd run out of hay caps. I think with that demo case baler, and. Um, they've just been stacked in a pile, so we're gonna split them open, see what they're like inside, and dry some of them out. But let's see what this drone does. I'm gonna have drill connect to it now. Settings, connections, right. It's not much bigger than a matchbox, is it? It's tiny, isn't it? Probably not. It's probably a bit too small if it's windy, isn't it? That should come on. There you go. The view from it. See if we can lose it again. By the way, I've never flown a drone before. Don't get it on the roof. Is that it? What happened then? I don't know. Don't know. Take off and land. Sure, it's not that. I wonder, I must have damaged it yesterday. This is good, isn't it? Have you put the propellers on wrong way around? No, there's only one way they can go on, isn't it? It's not getting any lift though, is it? No. They're spinning that way, that's surely pushing it down, not up. Press it again. Don't lose it, bugger. <laughs> I think that's, they're pushing down, not up. Just had a Zoom meeting about something that's quite exciting and I'll tell you soon. And I've just been opening some posts. Thank you to um, Graham Hayhurst from File Country Life Preservation Society. He sent me some pa passes for the animal world in Fleetwood. So I'm gonna go to that. And then also someone sent me these stickers, but it doesn't say who, which is obviously never a truer statement. Now we were gonna get the spreader bale and start spreading some of these bales out and then Joe sent these bales back that he'd had round his potato store. So they are pretty dry, just a little bit damp in the middle. So we've decided that, especially with them being rape straw, what we found is rape straw, when it goes back through the bale, it gets even smaller and quite dusty. So we've put it in here along with some of the bales that we got out of the field that have been bottom bales, uh, but should be, should be nice inside but they've just got a little bit of dampness on the tops and the, and the sides where they've been on edge. So we've put them onto the drying floor now to give them a bit of heat over the next couple of days, dry them out. Every day, people are ringing up wanting straw. Uh, it's crazy because in the summer, no one was wanting it. No, 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 don't want straw, don't want straw, don't want straw. And then now everyone wants it all of a sudden. Um, so we're scrabbling around trying to find it. At least, at least we've got a bit more time now, whereas in the summer, you know, you don't have time. You just want to clear fields quick. So yeah, we'll get them sorted. I'm off to Bl Blime Hill, is it? Near Western Park in a bit to do a talk tonight for a farming discussion group. So I'm not probably going to be doing much this afternoon really because I don't want to hit the traffic because it's an hour and a quarter on a good day. On a bad day, it's two and a half. Hang on, we'll have to do the small, we'll do the small. No, you did, that was fine. Go on, go see how fast you can go. So Job climbed, Rob, Rob, I didn't get my camera out, we're going to put Rob climbing that and John pushed it and it was full of water so immediately he was getting a shower in stinky water. Anyway, they're going on on Tuesday, I think they're coming to put them on. 
like I say, when you say you're not in a hurry to a tyre fitter, it's the worst thing you can say. Another load of straw. This is going to Mr. Pemberton's. So it's getting very scarce, like I said. Do you know what? It's really annoying, this phone. That's what it looks like. Not grey. See? Obviously, that's a bit of a, a dark, a bit at the end, which is a bit weathered. But, yeah. So this has randomly just been pulled off and no one knows where it is. So I'm going to have to put a new plug on it before that goes anywhere. John's going to put the basket on. I've got to just measure some roof sheets. Right, I'm going to go up to Wellbrook now, measure this roof, which I probably just told you about. The, the friend's year end is end of February, whereas everyone else's year end sort of end of March. Well, if it's the 29th, does that mean that they have a year end only every four years? And in fact, if it's your birthday on the 29th, does that mean you celebrate your birthday on the 1st of March or you celebrate on the 28th of February? Do you celebrate on the last day of February or do you celebrate it the day after the 28th if you were born on the 29th? Don't know, what do people think? When should you celebrate your birthday if you were born on the 29th of February? Because I have no idea how it works. Right, we've measured the distance between the, the bays um, to the length and the width. And then now we just need to measure quickly between each rail. And then we know then where the sheets overlap. Because if you look, see the overlap there? So you must have like a five foot sheet and then a 10 foot sheet maybe. Something like that. Well, I don't know the exact arch of the route, the, 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 the angle. So I'm just going to measure with a tape measure and then we can work out then. Because I think it'd be too heavy to do it all in one sheet. And then if it's, the building's not quite square, it'd run off and it wouldn't match the gutters. Whereas if you've got two sheets, you can kind of overlap them a bit to get it to, to follow better. So we'll, we'll get a measurement from there to there, there to there, and then we know where we're at. That side of the roof's okay. It's just the skylights are gone. Well, this one's uh, like a colander. Done some measurements and even measured for this roof here. And this is tapered, so it's seven and a half meters at that end, and six and a half meters at this end. It's not sort of parallel to that. So, but that'd be ideal for parking a combine header in, really, because it's a nice long building that you could drive straight through. Been collecting hardcore as well off, uh, off the guy up the road. So we can fill in that hollow then and then fill, get some planings on top of it and level off this yard that's just rotting up with big tractors. It's getting there then, but oh, it looks like a man's here. Check the sheet where there's a sheet laminate, I don't know. And then we've obviously got to put the skylights on that roof as well and then concrete that floor so it's a bit more of a usable shed. But yeah, buying a uh, rundown farms is a is a bit of a money pit. Another two lambs born Tuesday. Meh. That one's hiding, one's camera shy. Landers looking for no 11's here. That's next. Mm. Ian's got a new. What well, makes a funny noise? Some new legs for the table that go up and down so if you want to sit at it you can drop it down or if you're packing merch you can make it higher anyway utv has some calendars at lama well there's some left so they've posted them back to us anyone that orders any merch today will get a free calendar is that right and where's them, where's them green ones that rob was on about in well, you did have to spend 50 quid. Do you want me to reduce the 50 quid? Yeah, no, just, just, yeah, just do. Every single order? Every single order oh, received so on the 29th. Really? Of, on the 29th of February. Today only. Today every, only. Today. Every order today? Yeah. Until midnight or something? Well, till, till you get in in the morning. Oh, okay. No, till twelve o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. Yeah. Well, hurry up, basically. Yeah, <laughs> where, where, where's them green hoodies? Oh, because they were, the, uh, where, they were out of stock, weren't they? There's a, well, there's a load here. They're now in stock, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, there you go. Green hoodie's back in stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not on the way bridge, that, Morgan. That's on the way. Giving straw away here, that'll weigh like that. 
No, that's not on the way bridge. That's that's a good ton not on the way bridge. No, it's not. It's like two foot gap. Was your hair in the way? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's off to uh, Mr. P's in a bit. No birthday bumper today because there's only one person. It's Tom Hawley and he is 76 or 19, depending on how you count it. Anyway, I've got to go and get ready now. Shoot off to Western Park or near there for this discussion group meeting. And also on Sunday, I'll be going to watch Caleb in Liverpool. Who's going? Is anyone going locally? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. I actually need to apologise for today's video because it's been incredibly boring because I spent a lot of the morning uh, doing a deal on some tractors as well. So I was sort of sat down drinking tea and eating biscuits. But yeah, you'll see them very soon. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you tomorrow.